militants or whatever have you. But you know, a lot of women were in the Black Panther Party because of the um, uh, breakfast program, feeding feeding the kids and stuff like that. You see, very 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 important. And in fact, that kind of legislation when Lyndon Johnson p passed that whole um, what do you call that? Um, whatever the child care, whatever he passed, right? That was because um, basically Adam Clayton Powell Jr., congressman from, you know, who saved my life, well, I should get to that some other time. Well, he had been uh, doing what uh, John Conyers had been, well, John Conyers, um, Adam Clayton Powell did it first. We basically read into the congressional record all the stuff that should be done for the, you know, for, for, for the programs. Okay, and so when Lyndon Johnson signed, he basically just signed a bill that, 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 that basically Congress had to put through. So our strategy right now, at least the ADS movement should be, you know, sure, deal with the presidential candidates to draw the, 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 the uh, uh, to draw, draw, draw the fire, like that, whatever you want to call it. But even with that, you know, the Congress, those people, all those Congress people, they need to sign on the HR 40, but also the Senate people, they need to write their bills and present it to the, to the inaugural conference back you know, in October, that's what I feel. They all need to write up bills right now. What what it would look like to show us the show ADUS. This is what we're talking about reparations. This is what we. This is my idea. Whatever it is. Back to the point. So um, also on all this time, um, you know, it, um, of course, then the Black Panther Party started because Malcolm X uh, uh, passing, <clears throat> killed him. But also right behind him, like a year, whatever. 68, no, maybe about 68, whatever it was, 69. That's when the Young Lords Party would pattern themselves after the Black Panther Party, which of course was reaction to Malcolm X, right? Young Lords out in New York. I'll talk about this another time. So, what I'm saying is the revolutionary parties, and they would be basically because of Malcolm when he was minister, when he was minister or uh, uh, spokesman for Nation of Islam, they basically talked about black nationalism, if you will. Uh, trying to find, oh, here it is. So black nationalism is kind of different, you know, Pan-Africanists, they would keep them going on, but black nationalism is kind of different because Pan-Africanists about the world, you know, the entire globe or whatever. Whoops, put the name on just in case you can't see my lovely face. Um, but black nationalism, you know, there's a red, black, and green like this. Let me show you. I only, if I can find it, I only actually belong to one organization in my household, well, South Africa Cadet Corps, but a political organization I signed up for out of Jackson, they were out of Jackson, Florida still exists. You know, in fact, they were down you know, here in the in South Africa trying to do some, you know, organizing, whatever have you. And I tried to contact, but they were based out of Joburg. It's hard. It's, it's not transportation in South Africa, not what you think. But see, Uhuru, see? Now I've been a member of Uhuru, see, right there? I've been a member of Uhuru since, um, uh, what's eight August? Um, August 2003. See, like that. Let me tell you, um, 2003, because that's when I actually left the state, August, and I left the states uh, shortly after that to come here. But for the reason I was down in, down there that way is because I had a little incident with the sea. You know, let's just put it that way. I would, basically, let me say, in uh, 2002, I, uh, July 2002 to be exact, July 27th to be exact, exact 2002, I, uh, was frolicking at uh, Virginia Beach, and anyway, I'm, let's put it this way. I was in the hospital for like three days, you know, I was paralyzed, and I was in the hospital for three days, ICU for three days, and then and then, then they put me in a regular ward, you know, and I was in a neck brace, but I was, I was, I was jacked up. Anyway, so I, I basically walked myself back to help. They wanted to give me all these operations. I said, no, 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 no. Then I did it. It's a long story. Then I, anyway, for a year, I was in a neck brace, recover, recovering in uh, Silver Spring, Maryland, actually. It was kind of interesting. Um, but I had a neck brace on. So a year, wore neck brace. I wouldn't. Uh, this is the second dollar. I'm talking to the people. Hold on. So, and then. Uh, so, so anyway, so a year I'm, I'm in this neck brace, uh, but I was spending time with this, uh, this great sister, you know, and she had a young daughter, and, um, and so I couldn't go any place. But I would lay. I would, actually, when I slept, I, my I was slept on the floor, and my feet were up on a, on the couch. Right? Okay. So anyway, so they went out. I'll just tell you, they went out one time. So it's a demonstration because Silver Spring, right next to D.C., it was on the Blue Line. You just get on the train right there in D.C. I just actually walk over to D.C. Uh, in fact, the, the Walter Reed, what was Walter Reed? The big hospitals down there, the veterans hospital, that's one. So, uh, yeah. so it was easy for me to, it was a good place to be. Anyway, so they went to this demonstration. Then when they came back, you know, I was laying on, like, I was laying on the floor, you know, because my back and all the rest of the stuff, my neck, it was terrible. 
And so the young girl comes in first, and she has this little flag, you know, red, black, and green flag, from you know, from from demonstration. She goes, she runs the door excited like that. Right after her comes her mother, wrapped in a big black liberation flag, you know, red, black, and green, red for the land, black for the race, and green for the vegetation, whatever. Red for the blood, or black for the race, green for the vegetation, all that stuff. She's wrapped in this big flag, and it was like. It was mind blowing. You had to sort of see it to understand what it is. So, so what I'm trying to say is like, so now nah, I'm overruled, well, right? But that's very back when you wrap yourself in that flag, you know. I guess the Pan Africanists have a flag to wrap yourself in, in that flag. I know this that Muammar Gaddafi, you know, he just red, black, and green, and he in, in it for, for for Libya, and he wanted to do something. We'll get into some, some time later, I'll talk about Muammar Gaddafi and amazing what he was trying to do. But people don't realize that when I was in six weeks, we had the, uh, we had an Akrumah's Black Book, right? Then there's a uh, Mao's Red Book, book, and people don't know. But there, but um, Muammar Gaddafi had the Green Book, little Green Book. So he had Red, Black, and Green. You know, if you have those three, you know, you're you got a little treasure there. Anyway. So I bring all this up is because um, you know a lot, of, a lot of us going through all these alliterations. Now back to the ADOS. So again, um, I'm just hammering on this point, but it doesn't seem uh, feasible. People are not thinking, they're not reading, they're not paying attention. I don't know what they're not doing, but it's very simple. There is no beef between uh, ADOS and anybody else. ADOS, all we are is we named ourselves, like, you can even be within the Uhuru movement, yeah, put the figure, the Uhuru movement. Hey. You, 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 name, you name yourself, you know, and that's all we've done, and everybody's sniping that because we named ourselves, and they say, what, they had to, no papers, be, no, uh, y'all can figure this out. Uh, you really need to figure this out. So, there's no conspiracy with, with ADOS, it's very clear, got the scholars, got the data, and got the, got the progenitors that you should be listening to instead of just anybody on YouTube who says, oh, this is they do it this way, whatever. No, no, no. It's not, you, you listen to Yvette Carnell, you listen to Antonio Moore to get your marching orders, basically. Okay? I know we got, you know, it doesn't matter if you have problems, but that's, that's how it is. If you, if you know, that's how it is when you start, when, when you have a, a troop movement. Now, I understand that even though those are the heads of it, there's a lot of people around it. That's the whole point. So let's everybody stop. There's no, everybody just stop. Right. Let's take a breath and let's put it this way: We're sitting in March right now, so I think that between March and I should be coming to the in July. Between March and July, all this is going to be sniping. It would be da, 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 don't don't worry about that. Be sniping. Da, da, da. Then from the, then people will finally understand about July, I suppose. Yeah, the birth of the country. Seven. Yeah, J by July fourth, we should have all this things settled out. And you can do whatever you want. Then from July to October which is when the, the conference takes place, that's when people should be focused. You get your discipline and your focus, right? And then, you, when after the conference, the conference, all everybody with your beef, you got whatever it is, you come to the conference, right? Everybody airs their stuff out. So from, from basically October, which I'll get into some other time, throughout, right until the election that next year, from October to October, October to November, then, then we'll have a, we'll march on the strategy that we came up with the conference. So all the stuff that's happening between now and the conference doesn't mean anything. I mean, what it doesn't mean something. We're, we're 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 trying to lay the ground, you know. But come that conference, that's when everything's going to be straightened up. So if you if you're a Pan Africanist or you or you're whatever, whoever you're immigrant or I don't know, you know, national, whatever your stripe is, you know, a black socialist, then you know you keep on sniping. But when it comes to a conference, then you're going to have to react to that reality. Okay, so it's really really very simple. It's easy. And then, like I said, we're early phase, everybody's having fun, you know, there's like schoolyard fight, go ahead, you know, and we'll, but this thing will be, will be dealt with, really, really, really. So that's it for me, from, uh, for early morning, Saturday morning, from here at a desk of the ADOS, and it's a message from me, T from the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.